What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here. As always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great day. It is Monday. The Dallas Cowboys are searching for a defensive coordinator, and we'll see how all that works out. We've talked about that in nauseam. We need a good laugh, though. We as Dallas Cowboy fans need a good laugh right now, and... This morning, I don't know if this will get demonetized or not, but I have to kind of show this clip and things. It's kind of funny because Stephen A. Smith and Mad Dog Russo are making fun, or at least Mad Dog Russo is making fun of Dan Orlovsky, who basically during the NFL Pro Bowl, where they've got basically it's like a shooting gallery. That's probably the best way to deem it. Um, and I'm hoping, I'm hoping that this will had the same ramifications that it did with Dak Prescott some years ago in Minneapolis where David Carr went against Dak Prescott. Dak Prescott shows up for an interview at NFL Experience and things and is in street clothes. And David Carr, who I'm assuming has done this thing a few times since he had been there each of the days, you know, kind of had home field advantage. Dak gets up there cold and has to throw at the targets and all that stuff. And people are like, look at Dak Prescott. His accuracy stinks. David Carr, he's better than Dak. We should sign that guy. So, Jalen Hurts, we, we saw Micah Parsons throw the deep one into the ring, the 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 ten pointer, the ten pointer, right? And when I posted the video and stuff, people said, "Oh, that wasn't Jalen Hurts. That was some guy dressed up as Jalen Hurts." Mark Holmes just trying to stir up some shit. I was like, "No." So it's the whole clip there of Jalen Hurts, and he kind of missed it. So to make matters worse, okay, to make matters worse, he lost to Baker Mayfield. Um, Dan Orlowski, who famously was famous for being part of the 0-16 Detroit Lions, when they actually had a chance to win a game, it was, I believe, a tie score, he ran out of the back of the end zone, causing a safety, which ended up being the difference in the victory for the other team. Dan Orlowski, who is on ESPN and constantly critiquing other quarterbacks and telling them how bad they are. He did the same shooting gallery for quarterbacks and is getting praise because he did better than Tua and Hertz. Let's go to the tape, shall we? As a member of the Detroit Lions when they were winless, by the way. So now we have this footage and we can lean on this to big up our four for a lot. That is, that is an Olaf Keys moment. And I'll give you that. <laughs> Mad Dog, you gonna say anything here? Thanks, up for this. Yeah, I want to say something. Yeah. Who cares? We know this is a setup. It's on tossing a football around. Who cares? For crying out loud. He ran out of the end zone. Nobody cares. That's like Steve making 15 free throws in an empty gym, and then he goes into a ball game and it's. You know, four for ten at the line with the game on the line. Why? Because he hits the three going across there like a city. Which, which is definitely Nobody possible. Nobody cares, Steve. Which is definitely possible. <laughs> I don't care. Which is definitely possible. I was impressed. Oh, was boy. Come on. You're be impressed. You are and I can do this. This is not that difficult. No, you can. I can do this. Him with the ball. I'm close. To, yes, I could. I'm no, you can't, Mad Dog. Oh, this is ridiculous. This, he was a scrub in the NFL. <laughs> this does not make up for that. Your money. Oh, boy. Now, I will say this, because um, having experience, um, when we went to the draft last year, shout out to DMV, don't mean to throw you under the bus and stuff, but it's funny because people constantly, constantly say, you know, oh, he's a scrub, he missed this guy and that guy, and they have set up at the NFL experience, and hopefully we'll see it at the draft again this year, they have the deep ball. And they have like a, a basket similar to that that's at 10 yards, one at 20 yards, and 30 yards. Only a few people made the 10-yard one. And I saw nobody, and I mean nobody, make it on the 20 or the 30. It's a lot harder than you think, especially when you got defenders coming at you. So, yeah, we can all say, well, you know, I can put, put it on here. I actually thought about this, and this is uh, something I'm thinking about. Maybe I'll talk to DMV and we get one of his uh, high school students to help out with this. But they have eyeglasses that actually have a camera in them. 
And uh, I was going to actually order the Ray-Ban ones, but the only problem is they're hooked up to Meta, which is going straight to Facebook, and they're only at the um, portrait style. I want the horizontal because, you know, I'm doing my stuff and woodworking and things. Um, but I thought about getting like a high school quarterback or a college quarterback to wear a pair of these and do a couple of plays, hopefully not get tackled and mess up the glasses, but to give you an idea in real time, what the quarterback is looking at, because these glasses of course would be what he is looking at and so on. And I think that that would actually be pretty cool to do, to give you a feel for what it's actually like. Cause a lot of you all that have never played football at any level, much less at the highest of levels and understand what it's like. Dan Orlowski, hey, congratulations on beating Jalen Hurts and Tua. Eagle fans, hmm, Dan Orlowski's better than Jalen Hurts. Suck on that one. How about that? I'm Mark Holmes, and as always, you know, we like to stir some shit up. <laughs> you know, <laughs> You know, we like to stir some shit up here on the Joe Boo Sports Report. You know what I'm saying, good people. I'm Mark Holmes and Will. <laughs> Not disrespected yet? Does this defense have any heart? That's no. Tough. They suck. I've been telling you all season, they Philly. They've shit on you. Oh. They've shit on you. <laughs> Don't you hear me, Jordan Davis, <laughs> Kayla Carter, Slight? They shit on you. Oh. They've shit on you. <laughs> they have shit on you. Don't don't you hear me, Jordan Davis, <laughs> Caleb Carter? It's like they shit on you. Kill them. Oh my goodness. Did he say they, they cock it on them? I hate the style of defense. I